Hello and welcome to part one of this two-part review of the MJX X102H quadcopter. It's a brand new uh, drone just come to market. Uh, part one of the review is going to be unboxing and uh, part two will be the all-important flight test and FPV. And for that I'll be using the MJX C4008 Wi-Fi camera. It's an FPV uh, 720p. Also has um, an app link which you can download from MJX and it also has the option of putting in the um, uh, SD card as well. I won't be reviewing that separately but um, that will be the camera that I'll be using on uh, the X102H. So without further ado let's get the box opened and see what we have inside. Okay so box open. I'm not going to spend too long on this part of it uh, because ideally I want to put this thing together. Um, you'll notice straight off that the X102H has got this gimbal mount on the bottom which uh, should be good for uh, reducing jello. It's got these two screws in here as well to uh, restrict movement um, but the camera just clips onto the bottom there so just put that to one side. We've also got these huge um, propeller guards as well, four of those. As you'd, um, as you'd imagine. And we have uh, the pair of landing gear, and then we've got a mount for a GoPro or an action cam. We've got the throttle levers in there, and we've got some little screws for attaching the props and the landing gear. And then MJX have uh, modernized or changed their uh, TX unit. It, um, I don't think it changes much on the functionality, but uh, it does look uh, does look quite nice. And then we've got um, in the box here. I'm not going to get them out now, but the um, propellers. So let's just move that to one side and put that down here. And by the magic of video editing, in just a second, this thing will come back all nicely prepared. Okay, welcome back. Well, there we have uh, the X102H all nicely uh, put together. It is big um, from tip to tip here. Um, sorry, you can't see that. Um, that is 60 centimeters or 24 inches or two foot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so it is a big, um, a big model. Now, before we actually look at this in any detail, I just want to talk to you about the camera options. Uh, now, I've mentioned that in the uh, box, you get this action cam mount. Um, I will just need to point out that you do have to unclip that quite hard. And But once it's open, pop your camera in there like so. And close it up. And that is held in there very securely. But um, one point of uh, warning, there are no function buttons that allow you to push anything through here. So you can only access the power on button. However, um, most of these cameras do come with um, additional software which will allow you to activate the camera remotely so it might not be too much of a problem. But that then just clips on to the bottom here. And I won't do it, but that just slides in and then you can pop it off um, with the button there. So that is camera option one. Um, obviously you don't have to fly with it at all, but um, just bear with me for a second and I'll get the second option. Okay, so I mentioned earlier the camera that I'm going to be using on the X102H is the C4008. Um, not, a, not a detailed review, but just to show you what you get inside. Um, that is your um, bracket for putting your, um, your phone into, your cell phone, your mobile phone. And that one then just clips onto the um, transmitter unit there. You do get a, um, an SD card reader. You also get um, the antenna cable there to clip it onto the landing gear. Screwdriver, uh, you get a, I think that's a 4 gigabyte card. Yeah, there we go. And then you get the 720p camera itself. So what we'll do now is we'll just see how um, how that attaches to the bottom of the X102H and then we'll move on with the main part of the review. Okay, the battery that you get with the X102H is the 1200 milliamp 7.4 volt. Uh, that fits into the bottom of the gimbal here, which is quite handy because it gives it a bit of um, extra stability. Um, you get the additional charging 
port there and I'll just plug that in like so and the lights are coming on which is a good sign and with the camera mounting so I'll just give you a quick look around this if I can focus there we go so it's an adjustable um, gimbal mounted camera this one um, and I mentioned earlier 720 um, P and it's a Wi-Fi camera and the SD card just pops in the top there Let's get that out of the box again. Make sure I put it in the right way around. There we go. So that then just clips onto the bottom of the X102H gimbal, like so. And that will then connect in to there. And that's all good, um, that's all good to go. And Sorry about that, there we go. And you can see that the power light is activated and that's waiting for a Wi-Fi connection. And then the antenna cable, we're gonna to attach to the inside of the landing gear there. So I'll do that now. Okay, I mentioned the transmitter uh, was a new, uh, new unit, but I think underneath it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, four AA batteries in there and uh, then we've got the one key takeoff and landing that also serves as unlocking the drone um, and it also changes the, uh, the stick mode as well the button over here that is for your headless mode and it does the one key return that one there does absolutely nothing at all uh, that one switches the um, high low speed trimmer buttons here that one, unless you're using the MJX C4011 or C4001, depending on which um, market you're in, uh, that one also doesn't do anything. Usual functions apply for the uh, left and um, left and right throttle levers. Pairing up um, the X102H is as you would expect. I'll just put that on there, and that's ready to pair. On with that, up, down, and there we go, that's it. Now, just to show you what happens um, when I press the one key takeoff and landing. Basically what it's doing is it's putting it into um, preparation for one key uh, takeoff. And so you press it once, and then you press it again. I'm obviously not gonna do it now because it will hit the camera, but um, it really is very simple and the motor's shut off um, uh, very quickly once it's on uh, the ground again. Emergency stop, levers down, and uh, out to the right and out to the left on there. So that's the, that's the transmitter unit. It does, uh, it does look nice, but as I say, it's pretty much the same as every other MJX transmitter. And that, um, just because I didn't show you earlier, that's the foam mount, and if you're not familiar with the MJX um, models, it just clips onto the back there with that pull out lever. So finally, uh, we're on to the X102H. Okay, so the X102H in all of its constructed um, glory. The battery on here, the uh, 1200 mAh battery is good for about um, up to 11 minutes of flight time. Uh, no aerobatics with this one, it's purely designed for um, photography and uh, speed if you choose not to put the gimbal mounted camera on here. I love the design of this, it's probably the best looking um, drone that MJX have brought out in a long long time. Uh, the inverse propellers here which they've used on some of their smaller models um, is especially good for um, uh, flight stability and control and it also helps it um, pushing it through the air as well. It's got striking, uh, striking good looks it is a big, um, big model. It's, um, as I mentioned earlier, it's uh, two foot across or 600 um, mil. The gimbal mounting on the bottom here is particularly stable. And I do like the fact that it's got the uh, screw mountings on here just to um, prevent uh, additional movement. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the footage comes out, which, as I mentioned earlier, I'll be posting in part two of this uh, review. And I'll put the FPV footage on there as well as the micro SD recordings. Standard uh, features on here has got the uh, one key uh, return to home and uh, the headless mode 
as well. The altitude hold, I can vouch for that being particularly good. Um, I have cheated a little bit in this review uh, because I couldn't resist the urge to uh, take it into the lounge and just fly it around a little bit. And even in my small lounge, the altitude hold was um, very effective. Holds it probably initially around about um, uh, a metre. The overall construction of this uh, is very solidly um, built. These huge propeller guards are certainly going to help um, if you do choose to fly indoors, although you'll notice on here that they do um, uh, protrude slightly on here on the on the motor, so I'm not entirely sure that that's going to give you much um, head uh, headroom uh, protection. But all in all, um, I am thoroughly impressed with this. Um, all MJX products are, are well built. The, the one good thing about the uh, one key takeoff and landing as well, I like the fact that it puts the motors into idling and also when you bring it down to the ground, the motors do shut off uh, very quickly, unlike some others on the market at the moment where they uh, seem to bounce around afterwards. It, um, all in all, it, it's a stunning, stunning model. Um, I'm highly impressed with this. Can't wait to get it outside. Um, and when the weather is better in the UK, I'm going to be doing that. It weighs uh, 450 grams without the camera. So if you're in the States, I understand that you might need to get one of these FAA uh, licenses uh, for that, but um, particularly when you put the um, camera on it. This has been a PDH review of the X102H. It's an upgrade of the X101 from MJX. Great quad in its own right. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please look out for part two, which is going to be the flight test. Uh, review and that will be coming up on my channel when the weather gets better. Thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe.